In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you can't access your admin router page. So if you're trying to type in 196.168.1.1 and you can't access your admin router, then I'm going to show you a couple of ways to go and fix this. Now, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you're using the correct address for your router. So what we need to do is open up the start menu, go and search for CMD and then click on the command prompt. From this window, go and type in IP config and press enter. Now you need to come down to the default gateway and you'll see a series of numbers. Now these numbers here are the numbers that you need to use in order to access your admin router page. So it might not always be 192.168.0.1. Sometimes it can be something like .1.1. It really depends on your admin router. So once you've got the correct numbers, you can try typing those in and checking if that solves the issue. Now, if that's not working, you also want to try using HTTPS instead of HTTP. So if you come up to your address bar, what you're going to do is type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, and then you can go and type in the numbers for your router. And then once again, you can check to see if that now works. If it doesn't work with HTTPS, then try deleting the S and try HTTP instead. And that's another way to go and solve this. Now, if it's still not working, another thing you can try doing is using a different internet browser. So if you're currently using Google Chrome, you can go and use Microsoft Edge, for example, or basically just any other internet browser. If you have tried all of these steps and it's still not working, the last solution is to go and reset your router. Now, this is different from restarting it, there should be a reset button located on the physical device. And usually you just have to hold this button down for around about 30 seconds and that will go in and reset your router. And once you've done that, you can try it reconnecting and checking if that solves the issue. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.